We will discuss on this video the Horizontal Directional Drilling Methodology, abbreviated as HDD. HDD is a steerable trenchless method of installing underground pipes or conduits in a shallow arc along a prescribed bore path by using a surface launch drilling rig with minimal impact on the surrounding area. Directional boring is used when trenching or excavating is not practical. It is suitable for a variety of soil conditions, including road, landscape, and river crossings. We start the activity by preparing the entry-exit pit to where the HDD rig will be set up. Cut the concrete pavement using concrete cutting machine. After cutting, break the concrete pavement using jackhammer. Excavate the test pit manually using sharp shovel and digging bars. This is to lessen the risk of heating existing utilities. Set aside properly soil that has been removed on to the test pit. Position HDD machine in the entry pit. Start loading the rods onto its cassette. Inspect rod to be used first if there are traces of cracks or damage to avoid problems. Prepare the drill head of the HDD machine. Load the beacon on the drill head. This is the device that will transmit signal onto the locator device. Secure the beacon by tightening up metal covering. Put the drill head onto the first rod loaded on the HDD machine. Grease up the threaded junction. Prepare the water supply tank to be used by the HDD machine. Mix a bentonite chemical onto the water supply. This chemical is being sprayed during drill operation to prevent a cave in the drilled hole and as lubricant. This is the start of first stage of HDD, which is the pilot boring. When the HDD machine is ready, the operator will start drilling an angle of 10 to 18 degrees to the ground on open area angle. The drill head will release a water with pressure to ease the drill bit from boring the soil. A locator operates the locating equipment that receives signal to the beacon. He will be responsible for directing the drill head. The locator will communicate to the HDD operator to guide him on what direction the drill head must be. This device receives signal on the beacon. It provides location parameters such as pitch, depth, and clock direction of the drill head. It also informs the locator if a new drilling rod has been injected. The locating device monitor shows the status of the beacon. The clock indicates to where the direction of the drill head is going to. A 9 o'clock gives a direction that goes left. The pitch will determine elevation. A zero value is horizontal. A negative angle directs the drill head to move downward. For example, if the locator wants to direct the drill head to the right going upward, he must call to the operator a 1 or 2 o'clock direction to obtain a positive pitch. The locator should have a companion who will take note bore lag data. These data are depth and angle of every rod injected. The locator spray markings on the rod to mark that another rod had been newly injected as written to the bore lag. The HDD operator has its own monitor of the drill head projection that shows clock direction and angle. The HDD machine operator is dependent on what the locator directs to him. A man sprays paint on the rod as a marking guide of the operator. The operator is somewhat curving the ground to meet the desired angle and direction of the drill head. The monitor is a guide if he really follow locator's advice correctly. Once the desired clock direction was achieved, the rods will be drilled. After drilling, a new rod will be loaded from the cassette. Every rod is threaded to be joined end to end. It is manually tightened by the HDD machine. Water pressure is turned off before replacing new rod. Put a grease on the thread of the rods.
When the drill head reaches the exit pit, the locator will instruct the HDD operator to remove the water pressure applied on the drill head. Remove the drill head to start back rimming. Use pipe wrench to unwind the drill head. Set aside drill head and replace it with back rimmer. This is the second stage of HDD, which is back rimming. It is done to ensure that a finished bore hole has optimal integrity or with proper hole diameter. When drill head was replaced with back rimmer, it was followed by swivel and drilling rods. Swivel is used to enable the rimmer to revolve without turning the attached drill rod. Water with pressure is then applied. Personnel will hold the rod as it pulled back by the HDD machine on the other pit. Fuse another drilling rod with the aid of pipe wrench. Repeat these steps until the back rimmer reaches the entry pit. Remove the back rimmer once it reaches the entry pit. Connect the rod to the HDD machine in preparation for the pipe pulling. After back rimming, we may proceed on the third stage, which is the pipe pulling. Prepare the reel of duct to be pulled at the borehole. Set up the duct puller on the green HDPE pipes. Tighten up attached duct puller. Set up the duct puller on the black HDPE pipes. After tightening up, put duct tape around the puller neck. Same is to with the green HDPE pipes. Connect the back rimmer on the drill rod. Tighten up using pipe wrench. Set up shackle after the swivel. The shackle will hold the HDPE pipes to be pulled. Attach the duct puller with pipes to the shackle. After setting up the duct attachment, pipe pulling may now perform. Additional duct tips can be added to secure pipes. Water pressure again is applied to lubricate the board hole. As the duct is pulled, the rimmer is rotating. As the duct is pulled by the HDD machine, the rail of pipes were handled for smooth entry of the pipes to the hole. Pipe pulling is complete whenever HDPE pipes will reach the entry pit. We successfully completed one span of HDD. Entry or exit pits are restored and turned to handholes or manholes which will be discussed on other video procedure. 
Thank you for watching.